Priyanka Gandhi speaking in Rahul Gandhi's former constituency of Vyanad. The Satyamev Jayate Yatra, as they're calling it, is rolling in Vyanad, even as the Congress faces multiple challenges and crises in different parts of the country. From Rajasthan, where their own Deputy Chief Minister has been on a day-long hunger strike against the corruption of his own government in Rajasthan, to the Karnataka battle, to Chhattisgarh, to Punjab. But Rahul Gandhi is happy to smile and wave in Wayanada constituency from where he was disqualified very, very recently by the Lok Sabha Secretariat after being convicted in a defamation case. The BJP has attacked Rahul Gandhi saying he needs to go on a Congress Jodo Yatra. Forget about Bharat Jodo because Bharat is already united. Now, Rahul Gandhi in his erstwhile constituency of Wayanad for the first time after being disqualified as an MP. Rahul and his sister Priyanka were greeted by big crowds just as they began this roadshow a little earlier today. Well, ahead of the Gandhi siblings' roadshow, the Kerala Congress has reignited the Savarkar War. The state party unit put up posters of Rahul's statement on Veer Savarkar everywhere in Vayanad. The poster read, and I quote, I am not Savarkar. I will not apologize, nor will I run away. Well, after being schooled for Savarkar Babs by their own ally Sharad Pawar, the Congress party has largely refrained from reacting bar one or two sub-level leaders like Alka Lamba. So, you've got a situation where Rahul Gandhi is not in Rajasthan, not in Karnataka, not in Chhattisgarh, not where he is perhaps required to try and keep the factions together, but he is in far away Wayanad. Let's go straight across to India today's Rahul Gautam, who's on the ground in Wayanad, Kerala. Uh, 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 Rahul, a big rally, a big road show, good crowds. Uh, you know, uh, one can totally understand the meaning of today's road show, but, uh, you know, many people are going to wonder about Rahul Gandhi's priorities at this point of time. Should it be Karnataka or should it be Kerala? Well, Congress party ensured that when Rahul Gandhi arrives here, he gets a very rousing welcome, a very grand welcome. Uh, yeah. You know, because this is the first time when, uh, you know, he's visiting his former constituency, Wayanar, uh, for the first time ever since his disqualification. But he wisely pointed out that, you know, there, uh, there are scores of problems that are already uh, staring uh, the Congress party. For example, as infighting is intensifying in Rajasthan, then you have Karnataka, where you have not decided on uh, as many as 58 seats are still pending. And obviously, uh, you know, these are the burning issues before the Congress leadership. And at that point of time, this is what, in fact, back to the uh, BJP is saying that, uh, uh, you know, rather going for Bharat Jolo Yatra, I should have gone for uh, Congress Jolo Yatra. In fact, they are also saying that Rahul Gandhi uh, must put out these, uh, you know, figures uh, uh, in public domain as to how many times he had visited uh, Vainar in past, given the fact that uh, he, was, uh, he was a member of parliament from here for almost, uh, you know, four and a half years. How many funds he has released uh, for the betterment of, uh, you know, Dalits and Adivasis. But it seems that uh, Rahul Gandhi and Congress party, uh, uh, you know, they've already made up their mind that uh, uh, this day is crucial because, you know, why not is a special place for Rahul Gandhi. Remember back in 2019, when Rahul Gandhi lost from Amity, it was why not, uh, you know, that actually sent Rahul Gandhi all the way to the parliament. And therefore, no, it's a very Rahul nice Gandhi gesture for sure. It's a very nice gesture to go to why not after you've been disqualified from there. Uh, but surely Rahul Gandhi... Uh, has a lot on his plate, politically speaking, this election season, uh, not least in Karnataka. Uh, uh, you know, so even as all these crises are brewing, Sachin Pilot appears to have one step out of the Congress party, but Rahul Gandhi appears to think that Wayanad is his priority at this point of time. Shahzad Punawala of the BJP spoke to us a short while ago on what he says are the Congress's priorities when they should be doing a Congress Jodo Yatra, given all the quakes around their hero number one. Take a look. Is this a show of strength against the court which has convicted him? First it is disqualification, now it is defiance over disqualification. And apart from that, right now the Congress party, its Shav Yatra can be seen in Rajasthan, it is Pilot versus Gehlot, Chhattisgarh, it is Deo versus Bhagel, in other parts it is D.K. Shivkumar versus Siddharamaya and he's taking out Pad Yatra when Congress is facing a Shav Yatra because it is becoming Tukde Tukde Congress. Anyways, it is his priority whether the party disintegrates and uh, 
splinters that is his business but uh, this kind of yatra i mean he is entitled to go and visit any constituency or any part of the country but having said that one only wonders that first they wear a black clothes against the court then they take three three chief ministers to appeal against the court order then one congress leader says jeep card denge with a very talibani mindset and now they are taking out a show of strength as if they are supporting the anti obc statement made by rahul it is their prerogative they can do it they are welcome to only a political gimmick is playing drama in the last four years he is not doing anything for coming to vinad or not doing anything for the vinad people now he is playing drama what is that has done for vinad in the last four years how many times he visited vinad how much money he spent for vinad people in the last four years what are the projects by rahul gandhi for vinad people with this penny what what he that and for vinad people